<laughs> Hello, lovelies. Perhaps we should go live, we just said. We were sat here just like chit chatting. Like, should we do that? Or like that? amateurs. Um, how are you all just this a, evening? Just a smirch. And thank you for being here. Hope you can see us and hear us okay. We've got ourselves positioned accordingly. Yeah, it's a random one tonight. So, as you know, for the last couple of Friday lives, we've uh, brought the old quiz thing back. But we did say we weren't going to do it every time it was a Friday. We did. We and did. We've got a few little items here that have been in our hallway for a short while that we would like to open. So we thought, why don't let's have a live, do an unboxing, you know, have a chat. Have a chat. Answer Talk any you questions guys. you might have. Exactly. Just your standard Friday night with the boys. The Friday night live, to be honest, is actually the one that is can be free form and can be kind of. It's um, the most chill one. It is the most chill. Yeah. Because um, our Sunday live in the kitchen, we're always doing summer. Mm -hmm. uh, well, last time it was uh, radish greens pesto. And I recently uploaded a recipe vlog for rocket pesto, if you haven't seen that. Oh, lovely. Um, and uh, our Saturday night lives are usually mukbangs, uh, in the true sense of the word. Not where we stuff our faces until we're sick. That's not a mukbang. It's where we have our dinner with our friends. Yes. It's an eating show. Eat, eat chat, chat, eat. eat. Yes. And stuff. Spent a lot of time at the allotment over the last couple of days, haven't we? Particularly today. Yes. Today was quite a heavy allotment day, so we've got a lot of filming done. Divide and conquer was uh, the the uh, the rule at the allotment today. Yeah. Um, and and it was a success. So all of that to come on Monday. Um, quick shout out. Uh, to those who were ready and raring to go, even before we were ready and raring to go. <laughs> um, the vegan vlogger, Bangkok Karen, Angharad's life, the vegan Potterhead, Ashley, of course, Megan, uh, us three vegans, Alice, Holly, Hench, uh, Joanna, all of yours, Angela, Kelly, our wonderful mod. Um, I'm just looking to see if anybody else is in the house from the moderator standpoint, I think we've just got Kelly at the moment. Oh, Ashley, one of your posts recently on our, you know, when I shared the picture of the courgettes, you mentioned something about um, like char grilling them or something. You put a thought in your head. So tonight I've sliced some long, but very thin mm. slices. Um, and uh, put them in a little frying pan with some garlic oil till they got little crispy edges. Um, and we had them uh, on a burger, which you'll see on next week's meals vlog. Quite delicious. Quite delicious. Mm. And the rocket pesto. Oh, my God. It's a revelation. It's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. Can't wait to have it in match. Rocket pesto thing is just like, oh, Annika, thank you, darling. Oh, bless Annika, thank you very much. Thank you. Two kisses right back. Um, yeah, because when you when you made it, and when someone says rocket pesto, you kind of like, oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah. But we've never had it before. We haven't. No, we 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 often make um, coriander pesto, although I haven't done it for a long long time. That you, you know, in the days when you could go in the market to your local fruit and veg store because the world was normal, <laughs> and I used to get two big bunches of um, coriander for one pound twenty-five from Taylor's Produce on the inside market in Oldham, and I'd always, always make. I'd use one and a half of the bunches for the pesto, make a huge amount, and we'd have it in pasta probably twice in mash at least once mm -hmm. sometimes on toast it was that good um but yeah uh you know we've got this abundance of rocket now and it's just as good it's fabulous it really is we've um we've eaten well we've eaten like kings haven't we over the last uh... we've eaten every meal we've had over the last two weeks has had something from the allotment mm -hmm. 
even mid coleslaw slaw tonight with courgette from the allotment, radish from the allotment, and carrot and onion that I added. Anyway, uh, a coleslaw. Oh, it was lovely. I'll say a quick hello to VL, um, a quick hello to Letitia, and a quick hello to Richard. Thank you for joining us. Share, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank, thank you, Dan. And Annika, yes, uh, thank you for asking. Our PO box is in the description on all our videos. Yes. Um, and uh, we are uh, obviously here to do a, a bit of a mini unboxing. It's not going to be um, too It's not going to be crazy. It's not gonna, we ain't got loads. <laughs> we ain't got loads. Um, but if Without any, loads. Yeah, but our PO box details are in the the description on our videos if anybody does wish to send us anything uh, and particularly um planting a seed for anybody that wishes to send us a postcard from your neck of the woods in the world wherever you are um for the allotment um for our shed at the allotment because it's already looking fabulous but there is room for more postcards um on the uh the back wall uh, we'll always find room I think did I just did I just drool on the table? If I just drooled on the table, I do apologize. Oh Jessica, five year anniversary is a five year wedding anniversary today. Oh that's fabulous. Jessica please don't take this the wrong way if I get this wrong because I never see your partner's name, Alex. Oh, is that lovely? Like clay plaque with butterflies and jewels on. Yes. Hope you've had a wonderful oh, day. Oh, you know Jessica anyway, we sent her a birthday message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Jessica, hope you've both had a wonderful day. And thank you for tuning in and thank you for your lovely, lovely words. Bloody happy anniversary, darling. Yes. Five years. Five years is awesome. Perhaps 20 years in gay in gay years. <laughs> that. <laughs> Oh, Richard, thank you so much for the super chat. Little treat for you guys. Have a great weekend. Oh, thank you thank so you. much. He, he said he was going to do it later, but I bet he didn't want to wear it. Oh. oh, thank you for joining us. Uh, Vicky. Vicky. Vicky, I'm Vicky. so sorry. Thank Vicky, you, Jessica. Of course. Yes. Yeah. See, my excuse is I'm just generally rubbish with names anyway. I'm so sorry, darling. Um, happy anniversary, Jessica and Vicky. Vicky, I'm sorry I got your name wrong. Both spoke to you once, haven't I? I'm over on um, Facebook. I'm always seeing her. Hear that, Jessica. <laughs> I know I have to put water on my hand. Uh, ah, there you go. There's a lot of water on my saucer. I thought I'd drooled on the table, which would be a terrible thing to do, especially, you know, whilst we're streaming live on YouTube. I don't know if I could, if I could ever live that down. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad that's not the case. That mint was gorgeous. Uh, I think Jessica just said that they're going to a some kind of vegan donut place tomorrow. Where? Which sounds delightful. Uh, being at work all day, but tomorrow we're going to a vegan donut and coffee shop. Oh, lovely. Sounds fantastic. Where is it, Jessica? So we get a bit of... A um, bit of to uh, kitchen roll. The kitchen roll for table! Your foot. Sorry. <laughs> oh, nice one, Jenny. Thank you. Jenny says, lovely seeing your friends at the allotment and uh, you're very busy. We are very busy. We're very busy lads. Um, but as long as you can balance everything, a busy life is a happy life. Yeah. Generally. Uh, right. Let's get the let's get the darkness out of the way for those of you that it's not darkness, really. For those of you that don't follow us on uh, Facebook because uh, I haven't posted it on YouTube. Um, any of you that are, are aware of my uh, health concerns uh, would know that I was getting uh, an x-ray this very morning at 9am. And uh, I had it, it was the first one shouted in. It was, it, was, it was all over and done with very, very quickly. It was typical, take out your nipple bars, but I could drink my belly ones in, because it was just my chest, really. Hug the machine. <laughs> virtually and breathing um and uh she said right all done um uh your your doctor should have your x-ray within a week so we'll see yeah um what's going on there that's it isn't it that's basically where we're up to with that 
the, there's nothing else really to report. Other than, no, no. Other no. than we had a very early start this morning for a Friday morning. Yeah, um, I mean, we, to get down there. Yeah, because usually we have a lion joke on a Friday morning because he, you know, classically Jason doesn't work. Although he did have yesterday off as a bonus. I did. I did. So Thursday yes. morning we had a lion until about 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had yeah. a nice lion Thursday yeah. morning. Anyway. Yeah, let's get. I mean, what are well, we? We're 20. How long have we been on now? We're 10 minutes in. We're 10 right. minutes in. We've got 103 in the house. We're going to start doing the unboxing. Um, if you've enjoyed the live stream so far, uh, a thumbs up would be massively appreciated. Um, it really does help us, and it takes two seconds, and it speaks to the YouTube robots, and then they speak to their friends, and it there's a big party that happens with all of them. Can I just address the elephant in the room as well? Because I don't want any of you to be ever scared about talking to me about anything or asking me about anything. My absolute hope hope for the best is that um the issues i'm having with the cough and the, 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 the are related to we were talking about this in the car today weren't we yeah um because we do talk about this obviously are related to the nasal drip which is a direct result of the rhinitis i have the new tablets that i'm on haven't really made much of a difference at all i'm still a mess in the morning mm -hmm. um and i still sorry to be gross swallow quite a lot that, that is developed very far back that's what nasal drip is it's gross it, it really is i'm hoping that mm -hmm. i'm preparing for being told i've got cancer yeah and which i'm hoping for the best and i'm preparing for the worst because that's all you can do really and if it is the worst, I'll take it on the chin and we'll deal with it when we know that and, you know, and we know the the, the outcome. Yes. Uh, we'll deal with it then. Yes, but I'm not going to be all morbid and fair and sad because life is, life is life. La, na, 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 na. Na, 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 life. Right. I got this. Just hold your horses a second Ooh. before you rush on. I'm sorry. Number one, you very, very nearly spilt water on the laptop. Let's just... From the cup? Yes. This shouldn't have been underneath the cup, should it? And there's, there's, just, there's a few things, you know, people are saying nice things. I want to be able to... I don't want to miss things. I want to acknowledge things. I just want to say thank you to Michelle for the kind words. Um, I wanted to say, uh, read Yvonne's comment, because obviously the world is gone balmy yeah. with uh, climate at the moment. New York's flooded. Cali is very hot and in drought and fire season has started. Mm, yeah, and yeah, we, we've seen on the news. Lily Yvonne. is here, um, has recently moved and uh, hasn't talked to anyone that they know for days as far as in person. And as I think Kelly put it, uh, very perfectly. Talk to us. Talk to us. Yes, absolutely. Is well, that what Kelly said? That's what Kelly said. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Great minds, Kelly. Great minds, Kelly. Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to just catch up on a couple of comments. Um, John, thank you just simply for your nice words. You both are amazing. That's very nice of you. Thanks, John. Cheers, John. You're a love. Um, and, oh. and then basically, um, Siobhan just came in and just chucked money on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Siobhan, darling. You're Bless you. Thank you for being here, as always. Uh, I, I think we're reasonably caught up now. And Leanne is in the house, of course, as well, uh, our other mod. So everybody be nice, or Kelly and Leanne, they'll just do yous. They'll do yous one. No, they will, though. They'll, they'll, uh, they'll sort you right out and not in a good way. I want my hair blue again soon. Yeah. Oh, I need my beast. It's yeah, shaved. well, we both need a haircut. Yeah. I'm, I'm due for one. You have yours cut one time extra to me, don't you? Yeah. On average. Because your hair grows quicker. Uh -huh. But yeah, these sides these sides are ready for a... I want it blue again. Ready for a cutting. I like it blue. What was she called? What used to be in Coronation Street? Phyllis Pierce. Um, yeah, okay. lovely, lovely words. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Imran's in the house, of course, uh, which is lovely. Thank you for joining us, Imran. And now, at 14 and a half minutes in, I've delayed the proceedings. Shall we segue yes. into right. unboxing? Now, I've already opened this. It said Paul on it. So I knew it was birthday related. And even more when I looked inside and it said, happy birthday to Paul. And it's smoked, this lovely mixture of sweets. 
but I don't know who it's from. There's no, there's no notes. <laughs> nice one, Leanne. There's no notes or anything. It's a delightful letterbox sized bag of gorgeous sweeties. My only guess is that it might be Dragon's Angel 007. <clears throat> Who I, and I could be mistaken. Don't feel bad if it's my mistake, Dragon's Angel. I'm sure you said you were sending something. Was it this? Did you send me some sweets? I guess we'll find out. If you did, oh, thank you very, very much. And whoever it was, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Yes. So I've been waiting to say thank you for that one because I'm like, oh, who sent mm. that? It's fair to say, and I'm not exaggerating when I say this, we've got quite a lot of sweets to get through uh, over the coming weeks. Um, thank you to those who are just joining us. Greatly appreciated. Jordan, thank you for your lovely kind words uh paolo thank you for joining us from uh very hot lisbon thank you johnny for being here tamcon angela thank you for your lovely words and carla love and big hugs from portugal thank you so we start with the small stuff we've got cards yes. now and things Yes, thank you, John. Thank you for the for reminding people. Um, yes, please do pop out of the comments for a second um, and give the live stream a thumbs up. I, I really like to get that balance in sync. Uh, 106 people in the house, 64 thumbs up. Thank you. Are we okay? Um... Yeah, I'm just trying to think. I've had a message off. This is from uh, Nikki, and it's been there. It's been in the hallway for quite a few days. Uh, but I only got um, uh, I only got a, a, a message about it recently. Um, um, Nikki and, and Marcus, but this is from Nikki. There you go. Yeah, see that? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Such a lovely, lovely um, Al drawing, I suppose, isn't it? To remind me what a jackdaw looks like. <laughs> so nice. So, so nice. Um, can you kind of scan that? And Because she did say it's pretty clear what can be uh, <laughs> read out. So this is Nikki and Marcus from Bath, uh, or Bath, if you prefer. That's lovely, Nikki. Thank you. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, I thought you both would like this painting. Painting, sorry, uh. not drawing, painting. Uh, this painting I did of a jackdaw. It's done in watercolour paint. So please don't get it wet, lol. <laughs> Love seeing all the allotment vlogs. It's lovely. I'm hoping to see you both growing pumpkins and carving them at Halloween. I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, oh, we've got some... Um, well, we've got squashes, haven't we? Yeah, but the Patterson's Panache has scalloped ones like... Um, you never know. Like, like pumpkins. Depends how many we get, because we both quite like pumpkin, don't we? So. Yeah, roasted pumpkin, yeah. pumpkin soup, pumpkin pie. Uh, uh, pie. 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 <laughs> uh, very appreciative of us sharing the tofu in the Chinese supermarkets. It's so cheap. It's amazing. Isn't it? Uh, I've just discovered refill shops. Uh, we don't have one near us. No, I wondered if you guys ever uh, went to one. Uh... <laughs> Isis is a very cool kitty. I would love to see her more, but uh, keep being yourselves. Love what you're doing. Hope you like the postcards. I couldn't decide. Uh, Take care and stay awesome, Nikki and Marcus. Well, That's lovely. Thank you. That's really lovely. Gorgeous, in fact. Uh, and I think Ashley said before, um, you're absolutely right. There is no such thing as too many sweets, to be fair. So thank you for pointing that out. Yes, excellent. You've sussed it, haven't you? Sussed mm -hmm. it with the lighting. Lovely postcards. Mm. Ooh. I think the one with flowers on for the allotment. Yes. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this one. 
because that's beautiful. That one for the box. Yeah, I can imagine kind of just sitting around there somewhere with a glass of wine. Yeah. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Somewhere. That's really nice. Yeah. Off to the side here, a little tavern. It's, it's bath. Uh, Megan says, homemade a beautiful picture. Homemade pumpkin pie pop tarts are my favourite. Well, they just sound delightful, Megan. Absolutely delightful. Before I forget, uh, and before we continue on uh, with the unboxing uh, and or reading of cards, thank you so much um, already to people, what you've sent. Um, what I wanted to say, um, hello and much love to mum and dad who are now tuned in watching on the telly at home um much love and we will see you someday and uh, best wishes uh, to auntie pearl and uh, brett and uh, especially best wishes to colin uh, who i know let's just say uh, could be doing better so i hope you are feeling better soon colin uh, much love to all of the fam Oh yes, are you going to? Uh, yeah, gonna, yeah. We, we we had already opened to this as well, but it's another lovely gift <laughs> from the lovely Ashley. Did we, am I imagining things, or did we say we were going to take the number twenty five out of the greenhouse, and we were going to have that hanging in the greenhouse? But well, we don't say things concurrently because we're not Siamese twins. What you're doing there is repeating what you said. Well, I remember having a conversation about it. No, you just said, here's what I think we should do. I think there and was... And I don't know if I agree on that. I think there was a conversation about it. There was no conversation. That was the decision that was made, no, actually. Why you missed it all. <laughs> <laughs> pop this over here? Yeah, with that. Okay. So it is going down to the allotment, then. Obviously. Yeah. But it's not... We've got... You can't go on the shed. Why it, would you have something in your front room that said TVG's allotment? Onwards. 24 years, man, and boy, I've come to this. <laughs> <laughs> One for the shed. Love your channel. Vegan mum with vegan grandchildren and a vegan dog. Karen. <laughs> Karen, I love you. Brilliant. Thank you, Karen. Welcome to London, my love. It's gorgeous here. Thanks, Karen. Oh, thanks, Siobhan. Thank you. Hugs to Colin. Thank you. Wonderful. Love a bit of London. Now, love to visit. Could never live there. I think I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, without a doubt. But I think Bangkok Karen, you're here, aren't you? Yeah. Did you send a letter and a parcel? Because I know you said on YouTube that you'd had a notification from um, Parcel Force that your parcel was with them. And if you sent an envelope as well, what's the face? Why, why are you doing the Steve Martin face? <laughs> I think this might. Well, it... that's why I said absolutely. Yeah, because it says Karen on the back of the envelope. Yeah, but do we? Is is there a box to go with it, and do we need that? But the opening this yes, letter and parcel. Shall we save this then until the parcel comes, or is this a separate entity? Tell us, Karen. I won't open it yet. I'll open this other one while we're waiting for you. Don't feel pressured. Oh, Kelly says, hi, mum and dad, Brom, and all the family. Thank you, Kelly. That's very nice of you. And thank you to those who have given us a thumbs up as well. I'd, I'd say, say hello to my mum, Joan, but she don't watch now we do, because she's horrible. She ain't interested in what we do. She's too busy watching NCIS <laughs> and then talking to me about it like it really happened. Yeah. It's a real thing. Oh, bones. Bones. She loves bones. She loves the bones. <laughs> <laughs> right, I need to get the glasses so I can read things. Uh, Cara says open it. Right. Well, bloody well then. Oh, D-Rabbit, thank you for joining us. And I'm, glad, I'm glad you're here. She says, uh, hello, peoples. So good to catch you live after so long. Uh, I've missed having missed them. Well, thank you for being here. Right, the gorgeous postcard of uh, Worthing. Oh, beautiful yeah. postcard. Just beautiful. Gorgeous. So that's for the allotment. Yes. To those vegan guys, uh, just wanted to say...
thank you for everything you do to raise awareness and, and to support us vegans. Keep up good work. I really look forward to your videos. I'm sending you lots of love from Sunny Worthing. And if you're ever down this way, I would be more than happy to introduce you to all our vegan e eateries. Lots of love, Viv. YouTube name, Books by the Sea. Viv, oh. thank you, darling. That is a beautiful postcard. Look That's that. really nice. I think I'd rather sit there with a glass of wine, to be fair. That's no disrespect to, um, was it Bath? Bath. Bath. Oh, I'd like, quite like a city break as well as a sea break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially if there's water. Yeah. Well, that was a moat, I think. Uh, I could be mistaken. I like a moat. Uh, right, Karen. Hang on. Uh, well, no, it's fine. But Going in. Karen says, uh, there's a problem with the parcel. I filled out a complaint form. I'm waiting to hear back. Good. Sorry, I don't know if you wrote it the way that I read it, but I wanted to give it some... <laughs> yeah. I wanted to give it some... Yeah. Bit of that. I get your bromers. Bit of that. I hear your bromers. Yeah. Those vegan guys... Stuart at the allotment has, uh, has took to singing that on a regular basis. Oh, Karen, that's beautiful. Oh, that is nice. That's really nice. I love that. That's like a little piece of artwork. Yeah. Was that your phone? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm a very popular man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Nobody ever messages me, and then I get lords when I don't want them. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That's a gorgeous card. All oh, right, I don't want to. I don't want to read that bit because that's the parcel. Okay. Well, can I show people the card whilst you're figuring out what you're doing? Oh, this is going to be difficult. There we go. There we go. A little bit closer. So they can see the detail. There we go. It's very nice. It's very, very nice. Very traditional. Eastern oh, it was really, this was written on my birthday, June 17th. Dear Paul and Jason, can I read this, Karen? <laughs> Leanne says, uh, don't talk to me about disappointing parcels. Uh, though, to be fair, they did sort it quickly. And Michelle says, come to Bournemouth for your sea break. There is an right. excellent cafe called the Mad Cucumber, which is completely vegan and delicious. You'd love it. I can read it. Sounds this. great. Dear Paul and Jason, I'm sending this card and a box of goodies from Thailand. I hope everything arrives safely. Sorry that I couldn't find a postcard. I only went to one bookstore in a nearby mall because of COVID. I'm personally trying to avoid shopping malls. I totally get that, love. Uh, you should be able to understand the labels. If you have any questions about the labels, ask uh, why it's Sarah Kahlberg. Um, uh, what's this? Uh, not only is uh, are you a talented musician, is you? Yeah. Oh, were it sir? A talented musician. But she is <laughs> also smart in other ways. She has helped <clears throat> translate me a few times. Ah, nice. thanks for all that you do for the animals. Thanks for your helpful, entertaining, inspirational and useful videos. I try to remember your comments about mental health when I am in a dark mood. Me too, honey. <laughs> uh, sincerely, Karen. P.S. On YouTube, I am Bangkok, Karen. Uh, there is so much fabulous food here in Thailand. Um... I'll come back to that in a minute. I know that you can find some items at Wing Yip, so I try to think of slightly different things that you may not know. Uh, in case you're interested, sometimes... I can't tell what that says. I mix or add some quinoa to the rice before cooking. I didn't write it on the card in case you wanted to cut it in half and put the picture in the shed right so nice. and then there's a list of stuff so we'll have to do when the when we get the parcel okay we'll do another yes we'll 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 do it because it looks like oh karen thank you so karen, much thank you darling that's bloody lovely that is really nice and actually what's really warmed my heart over the last few months has been um it's everything that people have sent us has been a personal element there hasn't there 
um, you know, with the gifts and the, the postcards for down at the allotment on the shed and the, the personal messages and everything. It's it's just bloody lovely. It really is. It's gorgeous. Um, thank you so much. And thank you uh, not only for the thumbs up, um, but for the reminder, can't stop lying. Um, shouting out to remind everybody else to give the video, the live stream, a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. 114 in the house and 91 thumbs up, which means we're getting very close. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if some of you, um, he's desperately trying to do maths in his head, 22, 21 uh, people could, oh, Oh, 20 uh, people uh, could give it a quick thumbs up. We'd love that. Thank you. I see. I see you. Yes. Greatly appreciate I it. I see you, baby. Shaking that ass. Shaking that ass. I love that song. You do, don't you? <laughs> yeah. We know what this is already because it's from our wish list on Amazon. Also linked in our description along with our PO box. And the lovely Jane messaged me on uh, Instagram to say that she'd send these. Basically, they are metal then to go over, you know, a row of your food. Or you could make a drag queen headdress out of it, look. You could. You could. It'd probably be quite fabulous to be fair. But that's just a really nice way to just, and, and a really versatile way to uh, protect our veggies. And we've got some spare netting as well, so. Um, and it's two lots of six. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely spot on. So I'll give you them to go down there. Mr. Thank you. And uh, is there a plastic recycling bit down there yet? Yeah. Well, I'll just pop it in. <coughs> there we go. And Easy. Then, <coughs> Here, mister. Here, mister. Here. Oh, Siobhan, off to do my puppet carving class. We'll catch on the replay. Have a great evening, everyone. Oh, thanks for dropping by, sweetheart. Oh, Speak yeah. Speak to you soon. Take care. Hope you have a brilliant class. That sounds epic. Absolutely epic. Do you, do you want my to... turn, my turn, my turn, my yeah. turn. Goodness me. Sorry about that. Thank you. We got to 100 likes. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, Dorcas. Hello, Paul and Jason. Hello, Kelly and Liam. Hello, darling. Hello. Uh, right. Stuff and things. Stuff and things. Ooh. Things and stuff. There's another stuff and another thing. Oh. Ugh, just check. I don't want to. Yes, see? I don't want to forget anything or miss anything. Do you want to do that first? I shall. Oh, <laughs> hey, loves. I wanted to treat little, uh, beautiful little baby girl Isis. Here's somewhere to store yummy treats. Sorry, there's no treats included. Hopefully, you, your daddies will fix it. I stumbled across these salad chitters <laughs> and couldn't pass up the opportunity. Hope you love them from your lovely friend, Ashley Beresford. Oh, she didn't write lovely. I, I added that. Yes. Thank Ashley, you. thanks, Dad. Ashley, you're a are legend. They, are, they, are these the, the salad chitters? Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh. oh my goodness! Oh, icy streets near it. Look at that! That is so cute. That is just gorgeous, isn't it? Did you know that if you see a town, particularly in um, Britain, with uh, an apostrophe at the end of its name, like that says Isis, it was uh, probably founded by Vikings. Really? Mm -hmm. That is so cute. So, so cute. Thank you. And I will uh, I will get that filled with delightful Isis treats. Paul and Jason's perfect salad chitters. Oh my goodness. I was I was distracted. That's epic. <laughs> Paul and Jason's perfect salad shitters. Ashley, I love you. Do you think we should just like apply to Dragon's Den? 
and like literally just sell them. Do you reckon they'd go for it? They're amazing. Get these on the market. You need to shit your salad. These are the shit tools. It. These are the only tools for the job. Ashley, legend. Thank you so much. Genuinely. Absolutely wonderful. What am I supposed to do with these? Put um, them over there for now. I shall. Yes. There we go. I feel like I want to go and like put treats in this for Isis. Could you um could you go and put wine in a glass for your husband? I can. I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> Has that already been yeah, it's already been one of our mods has already taken care of it. What? Um, somebody had put something. Uh, An Antonio had put for the ceremonial shitting of the salad, great gift, and it had got uh, the comment had got held <laughs> automatically. I think just because it had the, the YouTube shitting work. get used to us. It's all good. I'd, I'd rather that we've got our mods are awesome. They're on it, and they'll they, they'll you know usually let something through very very quickly when they realise. For those you know, of you that don't watch our meals uh, vlogs, by the way, and, and have therefore had the um, benefit of an explanation about the shitting of the salad. We eat quite a lot of salads, Jason and I, and of course, when I lay it in the bowl, it's layered. So I start with spinach and then lettuce and then chopped onion and tomatoes and sometimes olives, sometimes pepper, a bit, whatever the salad is, I do loads of different kinds of salad. And then I dress it, and of course, when it's like that, it looks gorgeous. Instagram word is some might say, but you don't eat it like that. You give it a good shitting. As in, you make it look shit for Instagram. <laughs> but gorgeous, the shitting of the salad. Wait for me. Stop shouting at me. What? 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 That naughty Ashley. It's that naughty Ashley again. She she's a bad. She's a bad bad girl. I mean, she's a good good girl, but she's also a bad bad girl. <laughs> and, and she's a liar. She says, "I'm prom. I promise, I'm not trying to make you fat." Huh? <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Just spread some joy. I'm the friend who always brings snacks. Enjoy. Love from Ashley. P.S. There's more flavours. I just chose what I thought you'd love. Check the rest of you like these. So this. Ashley, we're still getting through your um, your snack, epic snack box that you sent. So this is Dirty Cow. Oh, plant-based chocolate. Oh, my God. Oh, no. What have you done? What have you done? Yeah, that's that's epic. Can you see this? <laughs> There's plant-based chocolate. So there's Chunky Dunky. Which has bourbons in it. I have, can I just I say, I'm very fond of the packaging. There's cherry pop. Cherry pop. A oh, oh, that's special. That's special. Salty Susan. Salty Susan. What what it's got in it? Pretzels. Praline. Uh, pretzels, yeah. <laughs> Cookies, no cream. Cookies, no cream. Pistachio. And Hail Mary Berry. Whew. I've never even heard of this company. Um, never heard of them. So thank you not only for the gift, but for introducing us to uh, to this company as well. That is made. absolutely epic. There's on the bottom there. And I feel like mm. we are proper, proper lucky lads. It says handmade. 80 grams. <laughs> Kelly says, I've seen that chock on Instagram. Didn't realise uh, they were so big. They are quite a decent size, aren't they? Mm. 80 gram bars. Ashley, thank you, darling. What does it mean when it says 55% uh, salty Coco. Susan? All oh, right. So that's the darkest. Right. I, I was like relating it to the salty Susan part. No, it's always um, cocoa, it's chocolate. 
Thank you so much, Ashley. You are a legend. Um, it is huge. She is the devil in disguise. Trying to make me fat. <laughs> devil in disguise. How about that? Thanks for joining us, Leo. Thank you for joining us, Michael. Have I missed anyone else? 2020 Bridget. Thank you for being here. Holly. Yeah. Thanks, all of you. Deneen, for being here. Karma. 121. 120 in the house. 105 thumbs up. Uh, those people that have just arrived. Leo, thanks for being here. Uh, do consider giving the live stream a thumbs up. Because it genuinely helps with uh, with YouTube. I don't just joke about the YouTube robots. It is real. It's a real thing. Oh. Yeah. You're going to be sending people off. Sorry. Can't help it. Oh. Are you done? Yeah. Right. Could have at least warned people. Ah. Oh. To Paul, happy birthday. Hope you enjoy these and had a fantastic birthday. Lots of luck. And Linda, Ian, hang out right on foot. Oh. Um, thank you. And I think that would be them. Yes. And then uh, to Paul and Jason, happy wedding anniversary. We hope you enjoy these treats. Annual special day. Lots of luck from Linda, and Linda, Ian, and Harad and Fudge. Oh, bear in mind, premium snack. Oh, you wonderful people. Thank you. I want to have a look. Thank in, you. I want to have a look inside it. And, and thank you for being unnecessarily apologetic. Thank you. Um, it was not your fault. There was a mess up. Um, but uh, thank you, lovely people. Seriously. Uh, yeah, I've never heard of this. Um, this company. Bear in mind. No, I'm gonna, I'm leaving you to that, and then I'll do whatever this is. I'll, I'll do this in a second. Is there a knife? No. Do you need a knife? No. no. Good. Ashley, that is a very good point. Um, and Angela, just while Paul's opening that, uh, on the horizon, it's been a funny few months. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave it at that Ooh. for now. Bear in mind. Bear in mind. Happy snacking. <laughs> Bear in mind. <laughs> Pop protein crisps. Sweet barbecue. <laughs> nice. Yogi Bears. Ooh. Oh, veggie bears. Veggie bears. Veggie vegan bears. and organic sweets. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Natural protein snack bar. Nice. Well and truly crunches. Smoky paprika. Corn snacks. Whoa. There's more. There's more. I'll show you them ones. Pot protein sweet barbecue. Gorgeous. Oh, popcorn shed, butterscotch popcorn. Oh, but that's gorgeous. Loving it, loving it. Oh, Pre's puddings, pecan, pecan pie. pie. Oh, chocolate coated vanilla gelatin and gluten free marshmallow twin bar. Antonia says, I am gaining weight just watching. And this. a strawberry one as well. Mm. And hazelnut praline. Rhythm. Rhythm 108. Oh, Ooh, what a lovely box of treats, my loves. Thank you so, so much. Unbelievable. Happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my darlings. Uh, and this as well. Yeah. Oh, I like that. As a, you're a star. Linda, you're a star for buying from this company. As a small family-run business, every order means a great deal to us. We hope you enjoy your handcrafted box of goodies, Craig, the founder. Ah, oh, that's a very nice thing to say, Craig. And it's true. Bearinmindboxes.co.uk or Bearinmindboxes on Instagram and Facebook. 
if anyone's interested. I love supporting small little companies like this. <laughs> Yes, definitely. Uh, Imran says, can I just say that Lee and I are having vegan Ben and Jerry's and it's awesome. Well, good. I'm glad. Because well, this, good for you. This, no, because there's quite, make us jealous. there's quite a few people in the comments that are, are like hankering for, for things, for and things bits. because we've had bits and things and things and bits. <laughs> then everybody else wants the things and the bits and the bits and things the things. and the bits, the bits and the things. Oh. Golden Ooh. chains and diamond rings. Vivane chocolate. What what kind is it? We've got Lake. white nugget crisp, mandel orange, uh, black cherry. Ooh. Yes, vegan, bio-organic. Very think, nice. It's German, I think. I think we've had Vivane before, but is I don't it? know Ooh. if we've had any of these flavours. Might not be German. It just looks like there's German writing on the side of it, but then there's English on the other side, so... But that, thank you, Linda. Absolutely Ian amazing. And Harrod and Fudge for the beautiful treats. Any of you, my love. Thank you so much. Anybody that um, that watches our shopping vlogs, you will probably have noticed that over the last few occasions, we may have bought stuff for the fridge, the freezer, and the cupboards, but we are not really buying any snacks, are we? Because as Ashley said before, we don't need to buy any. We just don't you need guys to. Have been so incredible. Do you know what else we're not buying at the moment? Salad. Why? Don't need to. <laughs> we can go shopping. Any, what? I was just looking out the window. <laughs> I wasn't responding to something. Um, yeah, it was kind of the dream, wasn't it? I was just going to say before. Is that everything, or is there one more? There's one more. Right. Uh, just before we do the last um, parcel uh, unboxing. I said. It was kind of the dream, wasn't it, with the allotment that we'd get to a point where this year mm -hmm. was that we would be able to supplement quite a lot of our food. And it's already... It's exactly what we're doing. It's already doing it. Yeah. Betty I has think, given us one tomato. I think we grew very much the right stuff. Mm. In I perhaps... No, it's no perhaps about it. I grew too much lettuce. I did five rows. I should have done three. Maybe. And I did three rows of not so great, you know, the very soft leaf lace, really soft leaf. And then two rows of like assorted mixed lace. The mixed lace is so much better. But the lettuce and the spinach and the rocket, they've been incredible this last few weeks. Really good. Really, really good. Uh, yeah, Michael, you know what they might do? They might do. I'll, don't get me wrong. If I wanted to go to town, I could really go to town. I could sit on the computer uh, playing No Man's Sky or something else for a couple of hours and I could happily, like, smash through half of the sweets. But then I'd be hor feel horrible afterwards and all sluggish. And, you know, you've got you've to be a little bit good to yourself and your body, haven't oh, you, well, sometimes? Well. Do you know what I mean? So everything in moderation. Everything in moderation. Uh, and it's been lovely as well to be able to uh, share our produce because uh, our lovely Kelly mm. lives like literally half a mile away from us. Not even that, I don't think. Um, it's been lovely to be able to pass some stuff on to Kelly and to pass some stuff on to Alan who's helped us out with so much wood yeah. down there. Because Alan's uh, often got wood. Just saying, he's often got wood, hasn't he? Alan. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to do this channel with you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picking up where Stuart left off. Uh, if you don't watch our allotment vlogs, um, you'll have missed. You'll have missed all of that. This one says fragile. It doesn't just say fragile. I think it says this way up as well. It's top, top. Yeah, and it's got a little smiley face as well on the side, which is very cute. Let's look. Do you want to? Usually. Okay. This is the last This is package. the last, yes. It's the most. No. One. No. The no. Yeah, it's me singing Christmas songs, and I love them. Ooh. To Paul and Jason, those, those fabulous, fabulous vegan, vegan guys. guys. Maybe this could be a mini allotment pantry towards those busy days on Plot 25. Lots of love, Deb and Andy, YouTube Flanny. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. we do it like that. Yes. Yes, you can see it. Excellent. Okay. Right. Oh! oh. oh. 
Oh, bits and things. Oh, it's the best kind of bits and the best kind of things. Allotment bits and things. Should I just do this? I've not seen them before. What, 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 what? No, I don't think I have. They're, uh, they're Morrisons, aren't they? Yeah, porridge pots. Oh, wow. Right. right, hang on. Sorry, we're being very rude here. We're overwhelmed by it, by everything. But this is so cool. All bits. I don't know why we do this. It's like we're posing for a thumbnail. We don't need a thumbnail. We're live. No, but we can have one later. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got oh. naked Korean style uh, barbecue ramen. Have we had these? Yes. Ones? Yes. Oh. We've had the barbecue ramen, um, and this is probably why. Yeah, I know you pay attention. The Wicked Smoky Mac, uh, Spicy Smoky Dreamy Mac, I've had on a lunchtime taste test. Uh, I'm, I don't think I've tried that. I don't think you've tried that one. I don't know whether we've had the green curry in the naked range. Uh, I don't remember the green, strangely enough. I don't. I, I think I'd remember the colour of the... Um, we've definitely not had the satay rice noodles. No. Um, and we haven't had the Morrison's Golden Syrup Flavoured porridge pot that's just amazing and then on top of all of that we've mm. also got gray's protein or boost oh boost and neon's steamed ginger oat biscuits wow by neon's that's another absolutely epic parcel where's, where's, where's the letter what's the letter tion, tion. Tion. Ah. this is duck to this There thank you, you Deb and Andy. Wow. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, my loves. That's, we're going to actually need to kind of have a bit of a tidy up down at the allotment and, and actually create some dedicated sort of pantry space. That's what we need now. That's fantastic. That's just glorious, isn't it? And we're not going to get caught out. We nearly got caught out today. How, how is it that, that you lot keep sending us things that we love? Because they know us. Because they know us. What I'm also amazed at, and it was something that Mum uh, Mum mentioned uh, last time, I think it was when we had the Father's Day picnic at the allotment, um, which was wonderful. Um, Mum mentioned not only how lucky we both are, which we wholeheartedly agree with, of course, but how there hasn't been any duplication in the stuff that people have sent us. Like, literally everything is different. Uh, so, bravo to all of you, and thank you so, Thank so you for much. wanting to send stuff to us, it's, it's just lovely. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's lovely. Yeah. It's lovely to be thought of. From the bottom of our hearts, definitely. Yeah, without a doubt. Massively appreciated. So there you go, that's, uh, that's the unboxing part, uh, over and done with. Unboxing done, yes. We shall thoroughly enjoy every little thing that you guys have sent to us mm -hmm. trust yeah thank you definitely thank you thank you um oh nice johnny says naked now do a coffee and walnut bar well nice and an almond macaroon bar not as nice but still nice <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, coffee and walnut sounds beautiful. And Ashley said, we do it because we love yous. I want to do a coffee and walnut cake. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Ditto. Ditto. Ditto, ditto. Yes. Well, that's all just been delightful, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm so hot. Are you really warm? Yeah. I'm Are not you like, not? I'm okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just nice. <laughs> Vanessa says, I've just had a big stir fry. I'm watching this for a few minutes and I'm hungry again. I need <laughs> bits and things and chocolate. Perfect, Vanessa. You can't beat bits and things and chocolate. We've, um, yeah. We've got so much choice to snack on now. It's amazing. It is. And we've still got to do a taste test video with all that psycho stuff. I can't wait. That should be like, that should be soon. We should do that I soon. know. Yeah. Well, we need some of those chicken drumsticks from Tesco. Oh, can we just use anything? We've got a freezer full they're of stuff. Perfect. There must be something. No, they're the best thing for when you're doing hot sauce. We discovered that on the second video. 
Yeah. Not on the first one where we were just eating it off the spoon and got. No, it. no, I meant there must be something else we can chuck in the air fryer that, it, mm. that would serve as a vessel. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the best. Angela went to uh, the new East Asian supermarket today. It was amazing. Tofu was 20% off marked price. So my fridge freezer is mainly stuffed with tofu at the moment. <laughs> Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. You, maybe holly maybe we well, sometimes we're like oh would that be interesting and then also we're like we'd have to open like more than one bar and like have a little sample of each one but maybe because they are really fantastic flavors so it's not it's not a bad idea that at all <laughs> nice See, the, where they're all waiting for that taste test of the psycho stuff. We'll have to get to that. Well, there's only point. so many hours in a day, mister. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? There's only so well, many hours. Did, we, we've had them ages. Yeah, we've been busy. Busy lads. You know. I know, Jason. I'd like to also just point out for the record as well, um, the observant in the community will have noticed we didn't do a live stream last week. And we were busy last week because the vegan queens took over the world, didn't they, for two nights? Mm -hmm. So we're talking about doing psycho taste tests and things, but now and again, things just have to be put on a shelf. Oh, yes. Momentarily. Speaking of which, we were talking about doing a live show, Lime Pride 2, and uh, we did propose a date tomorrow. We said the 10th of July. That's not going to happen. Uh, we decided to uh, try and uh, work either late August excuse me, or early September mm. to give us a chance to actually really promote it and then we can actually make a decent amount for, you know, a nominal fee for ourselves and it, the bulk, hopefully, to an LGBTQI charity and an animal charity or a couple of animal charities, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, it's, I mean, it's yours and it's... Um... It's Gemini and Creeping Miasma's gig, really. Um, but as with the last one, um, it's there's a charitable element to it as well, of course, because that's just kind of how they do things a lot of the time, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you thrift, they're thrift queens, they upcycle, um, and, you know, fingers crossed, there'll be a lot more bookings to come for the vegan queens. People want a strong taste of one of these chocolate bars, and I'm well up for that. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind trying a bit, actually. I Can I be honest? I would like to try the pistachio. Which one would you like to try? No, I'll go with whatever you want to try. I'm not bothered. No, but if you had a preference, because I might be like, oh, okay then. No, no, I'm good with that. Honestly, yeah, yeah. Because they're all, they all, to be honest, they all sound equally gorgeous. Are you sure? I can't. I'm not really leaning in. Yeah. I'm sure. I think I'm sure. Okay. I think that I'm sure. You open it. Yeah. You want us to eat a piece of chocolate? We're going to do it. Because this is what YouTube is all about. Subscriber demands. Subscriber demands. Oh, interesting. That's not what I was expecting. Creator. Chimacqua. Pistachio. Oh, 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 oh. That is filthy. Oh, imagine that. See, on one side, it just looks like ordinary chocolate. Lovely dark chocolate. Look at that. Lovely. But then you turn it over. And it's absolutely full of pistachio. Can you see the pistachio nuts? Can you, can you see my nuts? Family entertainment. Family entertainment. Keep it out of the gutter. The nuts, darling. <laughs> On a chocolate bar. Oh, you nuts. <laughs> right, you ready? I'm going to suck my nuts. I'm not. That's for sure. Mmm. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. 
Oh, why? Why has this come along to challenge Noma? I already had my favorite vegan chocolate set in so it was set in stone. Noma is my was <laughs> is my favorite. That's outstanding, isn't it? That's outstanding. Mm. Oh. I'll say it one more time. That is outstanding. <clears throat> mm. What? Oh, he's still eating. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, mm. relinquish. Mm. Um, Robert, been vegan since January and your channel, amongst others, really, really helped. Appreciate all the work you do. Postcard from Liverpool is on the way. Thanks, TVG. Oh, Thank you, Robert. And Thank that is you, Robert. That is absolutely brilliant. We'd love to hear that. Um, and it is it is what we're all about. That's well, what we want to do. Robert, have you been to the egg? Oh, might not be open. Might be open now. The egg cafe. Lovely. There's some fantastic vegan food in there. Liverpool. Mm -hmm. You probably have. I don't need them on. Um, that chocolate. Out. Standing, impeccable, delightful. Too nice. No. Nah. No, because you're greedy. When you like something like that, you're like, let's just have one more piece, then a bar's gone. Yeah, I could eat half a bar of that and not even think about it. Whereas I'm like, it's so nice. Mm -hmm. I want to make it last. But I'm genetically blessed. I've said this before, I'm one of those really, really annoying people that rots on the inside but looks okay mm -hmm. on the outside. I've got a picture in the attic. Never puts a pound on. <laughs> and he could drink oil and put a pound on. Um, Deneen says, can't wait for Lime Pride 2. And Joanna has got a new job today. More responsibility, more money, but I'm freaking out that I can't do the job. Joanna, you will be fine. Uh, Annika, we don't go to Lidl very often. Nah, we don't. They were uh, very rude with us in there uh, when we were uh, filming once. We weren't bothering anybody. We were keeping ourselves to ourselves, just uh, filming products. Member of staff and little manager, jobs worth manager, come on, oh, you can't do that, you must leave or, or put the camera away. And so we just never went back because no one else does. No. Well... Yeah, just to stop filming in Tesco's once. One of the Tesco's, yeah. But that's when we used to set the big camera and the rig, and now we're just doing Ninja with the phone. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Now I'm, I'm it's, it's like most of our shopping vlogs are done on the phone. It's better. Which is why we've got really good quality phones. It's easier, and, it, and it's less intrusive, and particularly with the way the world is at the moment, it has been for quite a while. Um, Obviously, the, what? The beautiful aftertaste in my mouth. Check it's quite delicious, like a rich dark chocolate mixed with pistachios and silk. Yeah, all of that, all of that. Um, <clears throat> Rebecca, gorgeous. It's actually a pretty good idea. Uh, you and Stuart have done this before uh, on the channel. Would you two do a charity shop clothes buying video? I would love to see that. We've, we've got a couple on the channel already, Rebecca. I think they might be on this channel. You and Stuart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just what I just said. Streaming live for like, no, but we've got a couple. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, but you... yeah, we, we could do that. Come on, me and you at some point, maybe. But I, generally speaking, there's not a lot that I buy in charity shops. And most of the charity shops that we go in locally, the it's disproportionate. It's like 90% female, 10% male. Mm -hmm. um, however, whenever I do go in a charity shop, I am always lured towards mm -hmm. the computer game sections. Um, I very rarely buy them, um, but I always gravitate towards that section because it's kind of nostalgia for me in a way, seeing like, uh, you know, old console games and stuff like that. So, yeah, who knows? But it's a good idea. I like it, Rebecca. And it might be something we can do maybe as a one-off mm -hmm. sometime. Yes. Uh, do, do, do. Just seeing, making sure that I've not missed any questions um, or comments. 
2020 Bridget, the chocolate was absolutely lush. I cannot wait to try the Salty Susan. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mods. I see that you're having to hide a lot of morons uh, this evening. Uh, they tend to work in packs on YouTube, have you noticed? Little, uh, little gangs working yes. together. Pathetic, really. It's a sad, sad situation. Well, thank you so much, Mott. It's much appreciated. Uh, those vegan guys, any ad advice for making some friends that are vegan? Uh, would love to be around people, eat with passionate people. I don't have any real vegan friends, just people who are willing to try. Um, the best thing to do is to type Google. is And Facebook can be really helpful sometimes. Just type, say that your town is called Paperface. Type vegan paperface or paperface vegan into both Google. Are you okay there? And and Facebook search, and uh, you might just get some local groups, uh, and it might only be twenty people, but it'll be twenty other um, vegans. So if that's what you're looking for. Of course, um, because that's what it says. No, no, no. Just because um, I'm going back quite a number of years now and I'm being very open about this. Um, we were kind of in it, found ourselves in a similar situation. Um, and sometimes um, you can have a different experience in that actually you might find that actually the, the, the group is quite clicky or um, actually they're not necessarily just because they're vegan. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're your kind of people mm -hmm. um, because as we've said many many times on the channel the vegan community is just a microcosm of all any and all communities where humans come yeah. together and humans find it very difficult to read a room sometimes yeah yeah um, yeah, yeah, yeah you know i know it consider it like our albi blog yesterday mm -hmm. there were a couple of comments that i just got rid of because it was like that was clearly aimed at people who were I mean, it might be helpful for everybody, right. but it was clearly aimed at people who were, okay, I'm going to give this a shot. Yes, of course. Of and course. then there were a couple of comments like, that's got palm oil in it. Don't call this dumb. And I'm not picking on anyone in particular. It's just like, read the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read the room. We are. We do say we, it quite We long, know. We? We, if, 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 if you really followed the channel and you really knew us, you would know that, Sometimes I'm so blatant and blunt and crass even with my message. But now and again, I like to do a gentler mm -hmm. video Yeah. with here's what you can buy and why wouldn't you want to? Because if you do, you can help. Ba, 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 ba. Do you know what I mean? Without uh, this, that and all these. If somebody wants to buy something with palm oil in plastic... And it's vegan. And it's vegan, and, and they're buying that as an alternative to flesh. Let them buy it. Yes, yes. Let so, them buy it. just to kind of get back to the original question, um, and the original point that we were trying to make is that whole thing around, oh, um, don't expect necessarily that you're going to get on with all vegans, um, because, you know, I still find it shocking to believe that, are, that there are homophobic vegans that exist, but there are. That blows my mind. But hey ho, it's a strange world we live in. Um, but yet, yeah, you know what I will say um, is that this community on here is absolutely awesome. And um, so even if uh, sometimes it's difficult to meet fellow vegans sort of face to face, um, this is a truly awesome community. Um, and it, it very, very helpful, very down to earth, really approachable. And the vast amount of people in this community understand how to support other people onto the vegan journey. Mm -hmm. Going back to what you were saying. Because it is a journey. Yeah. Even seven years into it, it's still a journey. Yes. You know. Uh, Victoria are in the house. Good evening, Good evening my darling. Apologies for the late arrival. We thought of you. It's quite okay. This very day, because we had two cups of coffee down at the allotment. Of course, the kettle was boiled on Victoria. Yeah. It's a sturdy, sturdy contraption. Contraption? Oh, she served us so well over the last 
couple of months. Yeah, it's perfect. A bruise. Yeah. And now I've also got the... Uh, this is a trivial thing, but I'll say it. Yeah, I just kind of caught myself then in, in a train of thought. <laughs> I've got the water amount sussed for the kettle. So actually now it's taking half the time because I'm not boiling a stupid amount of water that we don't need. That's so not ridiculous. It's a trivial thing. thing. It's not really. Yeah. Kind of is. Kind of is. No, no, because you're a Virgo and you like things like that. I like your thing, aren't they? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So, does anybody have any questions? Um, now would be a good time. Now would be a good time. Uh, I will mention at this point, because uh, I don't mention enough, that um, at the end of last year, I uh, wrote, put together an ebook uh, from us to you called Down to Earth Vegan. And it was basically kind of the guide that I would have loved to have read at the beginning of our journey. Um, and uh, it's been downloaded thousands of times and I've had so many beautiful emails from people about it. That's not why I wrote it. I wrote it to just be a really helpful guide for people who are thinking, maybe I should try vegan. And you will find it really helpful no matter where you live in the world, you'll find it really helpful. So you can download it from thoseveganguys.com, which is linked below in the description. Also linked below is that vegan group on Facebook, which is uh, our group. Yes. And uh, that's where you'll find most of these lovely people uh, there regularly chatting. Shall I shut the blinds? Yeah, it's uh, freaking me out. I mean, it's freaking me out a little bit. The blinds in the living room. It's like a dark window, you know, that faces look in from, look, looking at you. That's the kind of window faces looking at. Uh, Geet has joined us. I am live for the first time at work, ready for on-call night shift. Thank you so much for joining oh, us. Oh, bless you for being on call. Uh, Look at us tonight in us scrags. I know. These hey, just, this isn't scrags. These are just our chill-out clothes. Well, uh, chill-out clothes. After the shower, you know. Uh, Victoria, we're glad to hear she's serving you well. Absolutely serving mm. as well, yes. Most definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> That's funny, Imran. That is funny. But is Isis vegan? No, she's not, Carol. Um, no. Uh, we did try. I have to be honest and say we did try. And uh, she um, wasted so much food and killed lots more birds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, it's 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 not a, it's not something that we're uh, you know uh, happy about necessarily. But we had ISIS before we were we were vegan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and um, she does eat some vegan stuff. Yeah. Like she'll eat the vegan corn ham. Ham, won't she? Randomly. We're not she's not gone she's not had the same reaction with the squeaky bean stuff. No, she doesn't like it. But whenever you are specifically and we've not had it for a long time, was it the corn vegan bacon slicey type stuff? There's the corn ham that you use like bacon. There you go. Yeah. You can do that by the way if you didn't know. The corn vegan ham. Fry it. Use it like bacon. Oh. <sighs> Very good. Yeah, they do say that cats are actually obligate uh, carnivores. Um, so uh, you know, we we choose to have them in our lives, and um, we shouldn't necessarily force our life on them because they are animals. When all's and done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, when it, you see, we've we talked briefly, after we think me and you have talked about this before. There's a funny thing, isn't there, with cats and dogs as pets? It's like, if you've got a dog and your dog jumps into next door's garden and then the back door is open and your dog runs inside and smashes, knocks the table over and sandwiches go all over the floor. The dog eats all the sandwiches and then has a poo on the kitchen floor and then runs out the house and comes back to your house you're responsible for what that dog's done. You're, you're actually held accountable as the owner of the dog. Now, if a cat 
goes in next door's garden and then goes in someone's house, you're not held accountable as the cat owner for the being responsible for the cat, generally speaking, because cats will just do their own thing. It's not like you can train them. Um, Vanessa, are you going to be watching the new series of Virgin River? I saw it was released. <laughs> we saw it as yes. well. Season three, absolutely. We've been avid watchers of season one and two and really loved it. Speaking of things, you know, bits you're watching, we're on season two of Friends at the moment, aren't we, on Netflix? Yeah, I think we're close to the end of season two. Yeah, we yeah. started right at the beginning again. We just decided we're going to watch the whole ten seasons of Friends because it was a landmark series for ten years, you know. Uh, we've also started watching, if any of you like kind of anime, game-style animation, there's a series called Legend of Exorcism. Oh, very na very strange name. Very strange name on uh, Netflix. And it's a bit kind of the translation is okay. You, you can understand what's going on. It's the, the graphics, however, the characters, stunning. If you're into that kind of thing. Yeah. Stunning. Beautiful. Beautifully, um, beautifully done. Just all of the artwork is glorious yeah. to watch. Uh, it's a visual treat for the eyes. It really is. Definitely. Uh, so, yeah, we will uh, be watching, uh, starting watching season three of Virgin River quite soon. I've got a question for you lot, actually. 107 in the house, 109 in the house. Question for you. We are currently going through uh, all of the 10 series of Friends. When we've got to the end of Friends, it's quite possible that we might start right at the beginning of True Blood. Because we watched that, and that was a great series that we really enjoyed. What is a series that, that you would happily sit through again, happily sit, sit through again, that you've already seen? I would be very interested uh, in your answers. Uh, Geets, good night. Thank you for joining us. Good night, Geet. Uh, one of mine would be Six Feet Under. Of course. But that's only because I've already sat through it twice. Yeah. Through the whole thing twice. It's one of the best dramas I think, ever made for television. Ah, Something Nicole, wonder. Buffy. Brilliant. Of course. Yes, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That is a very, very good choice. Click show. I don't need to do anything. The mods always beat me to it. I know, but yeah, I was just like, because I couldn't understand why it kind of was like, whoa, should I add that? No. Shit's Creek was amazing. We will watch Shit's Creek again at some point, but it wasn't that long ago. We were seriously late to the party with Shit's Creek, so we only actually watched we it. smashed it. Was it like a year ago? A year and a half ago? We watched it? Yeah. It was Something 2020. Like it was during lockdown, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, Rosemary. Yeah, yeah, good choice. Modern Family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. We've watched a lot of Modern Family. I don't think we've watched all of it, um, but we watched a lot of Modern Family. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie says, Peaky Blinders, Man Down, Still Game. Okay, I've heard a lot of very, very good things oh, about Peaky Nicole Blinders. This has to be Buffy. Yeah. We started watching Buffy again, didn't we, from like season three or something? Yeah. And, and we got quite far. Yeah. Oh, we got to the end, in fact. Yeah, we watched it pretty much. Yeah. 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 I think it's just season one that's a bit off for me. And then they, they got it sorted for after season one of Buffy, they got it sorted. But I can Stuart, still appreciate yeah, it. Stuart is a massive massive fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. Uh, he could probably do a mastermind. I'm not even joking. Um, Stuart does have an encyclopedic knowledge of... Um, you, you can of say it. to him, season three, episode 13, and he'll, he'll be able to give you the title and tell you what it was about. And probably more. And than probably that. a few quotes. Yeah. And maybe what Sarah, Sarah Michelle Gellar was wearing. Uh, Rebecca says True Blood is amazing Eric is gorgeous Buffy is great too That's A very concise And to the point Answer Rebecca loved, We loved True Blood True Blood was awesome it Yeah was, was In fact really actually good. If memory serves And a slightly controversial statement here From me um, The main character Was the character I actually found the most annoying Suki Yeah Yeah Every single other character in True Blood, I loved. Suki Stackhouse got on my nerves. She got on my nerves a lot. What was she in as a kid? Same actress. I don't know. Oh, wasn't she in um, 
that superhero? No, no, she wasn't. No, I'm thinking of somebody else. I was thinking of the cheerleader out of that superhero series that we heroes. used to watch. Heroes, that yeah. Was really cool. She wasn't the cheerleader out of Heroes. heroes. Ignore me. Uh, Imran says the piano. Is that a series, Imran? Oh, <laughs> she was in the piano. Thank ah, you. Thank you. Thank you. She was the little girl. She was the little Irish girl in the piano. Uh, Leanne was. agrees with me. I'd watch True Blood again. <laughs> hey, sucky though. Thank you. Her brother was well fit. I wouldn't. Um, I was would, fit. I wouldn't go as, to fa as far as to say I hated her though, Leanne. That's, hate's very strong. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> All that Welsh violence. I know. It's terrible. Ah, she won the, the Oscar. She Wow, she won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor in the Piano. Wow, thank you, Imran. Didn't know that. You are a wealth of knowledge this evening. Ah, Michael, uh, The Next Generation. Yeah, I would probably watch that one again. I um, It was... Um, I, I have more in a, of an affinity with Voyager, although I started watching uh, Next Gen first. And then when Voyager came along, I was like, Picard, you will always be my first love, always. But Jane wears in it. And strong female leads are a big thing for me. Yeah. Uh, with movies, series, everything. Um, and I, I have a real penchant for them. I have a real affinity with strong female leads. So Voyager was my... In fact, Voyager got me through some major shit with an old boyfriend and a... Mm. Turmoilic life. Turmoilic. Yeah, a lot of substances and DJing and just drama. Turmoilic. Drama. I love that, by the way. Turmoilic. Turmoilic, yeah. Um, it's not a word. Muddy, is, obviously. Muddy, yeah. thank you for joining us. Good night, Lisa. Sleep well. Much love, my darling. Thank you for, thank you for being here. Dark as no, it's rubbish. It's not rubbish. I just I couldn't get me head into it. Deep Space Nine. You quite liked it, and all the but not. Yeah, as... I'm, 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 I'm torn on DS9. I'm torn. There's some standout characters. Um, that there are, you know, you've got the Ferengi, you've got, um, you, you've got oh, Cisco himself for the most part is pretty good. Um, you've got Odo. There's a lot of great stuff there, but. There's also a lot of stuff that just didn't work for me in in the Star Trek world in terms of the ambassadors and all that nonsense in the in the wormhole. Constance, uh, we really enjoyed the Forty Four Hundred. We watched it at the time. Vegan vlogger, I've never watched t uh, Twin Peaks. Love the music, um, but I've never I've not seen the film or the series. I know the gist of it because mm -hmm. I know the guy that made it. It's a bit kind of. I think he did a razor head as well, which is one of the most messed up films I've seen in my life. Terrified me as a as a youngster. Did that. Oh, Ashley says I've recently started watching the Mighty Boosh again. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit close to the bone, isn't it? Some of the Mighty Boosh stuff nowadays. I think uh, in our uh, even I, even I'm surprised by this, but I, there's a couple of things that I've looked back on of the mighty boosh the really early stuff and i even i'm a little bit like it's close to the bone there's some close to the wire stuff there with the mighty boosh but we've got a we've got to find a middle ground haven't somebody we, with produced it, it somebody filmed it somebody allowed it on television so why is there now a problem with it that's that's always my thing with kind of uh, well, stuff. Uh, the same thing as putting bernard manning on the telly isn't it i know but when it's comedy yeah or it's drama i mean and like when it's Tucker Carlson sat there in his bloody fair point, like it's like he's saying dangerous stuff mm. as fact. He's saying it as if it's fact, and he's causing hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love the mighty. You know Bush. what I mean? I love the mighty Bush. Um, but yeah. Um, By the way, I don't <laughs> like Tucker Carlson. I think he's scub for the record. So there you go. <laughs> What's I'm all great. What's she called? No, that vile blonde woman on Fox. Can't remember her name. Yeah, I don't know. Daljeet. She's massively 
disappointing. It's been a fortnight of tennis for me. Well, whatever floats your boat. Do you know what I mean? Whatever floats your boat. I know mum and dad have been watching a bit of the tennis. Um, yeah, fair, fair enough. Uh, Tamcon says, I don't know if Twin Peaks has aged well. It's a fair point. Fair point. Kay was saying about well. Yeah. Uh, yeah and yeah. not just because of like the CG and trans hooker. Was it the trans hooker episode? Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of quite very of progressive. I was telling Jason the other night because he, obviously he's had a, a different experience of LGBT culture than than I have but I remember going to the pictures when I was about 18 or 19 I might know I was a bit older actually I was early early 20s so still 30 years ago and uh there was a Levi 501 commercial beautiful girl gets in the back of a taxi and the driver's looking at her through the window and she's beautiful and she puts on a lipstick and everything and then he looks again and she gets out an electric shaver and turns it on and starts having a shave and it's a guy and i stood up in the cinema i was like yes yes so excited because it, it was like <gasps> representation that's my culture that's that's my life there and you're showing it like it's normal you're actualizing it and nowadays it's like you know everybody's soap opera isn't it mm. and, you know loads of commercials and stuff but back then it was so rare i remember that so well uh, vanessa says i'm currently obsessed with bo burnham watching all his stuff on netflix and youtube i've heard very good things from multiple people is that the guy who's done the film yes uh during lockdown i've heard very good things we uh, heard some of the music one of the pieces of music from it and we were both like oh love that yes so we'll probably get around to watching the bo burnham thing at some point to be honest david lynch that's him thank you yeah he did do a raise ahead didn't he it's a, it's a terrifying movie. Uh, Cheryl says, Tenko has loads of very strong women. Uh, I've heard of Tenko before. but Yeah, it's, um, it's about a prisoner of war camp, I believe, in Japan. Ah, right. I think, yeah. I think I saw some of it when I was younger. Leanne says, love the Boosh season two. Yeah, season two is brilliant. Season one is, is great as well, but season two is just next next level, definitely. Um, Michael, I'm I'm only reluctant to say Fox News is shit because I quite like Chris Wallace, the guy with the glasses. He asks some. He's as conservative as they come, but he asks the right questions to Republicans sometimes, and I like that. He's the kind of antidote to you know the Tucker Carlson's and the. I'd say they probably need more than one antidote on Fox News, though. Oh, they definitely do. Yeah, to be fair, it's not sure. balanced, is it? Laura Ingram, that's a thank you, Tamcom. She's so vile as a human being. Absolutely horrible. Uh, Victoria, we love this country. If you live in the West Country, it's frighteningly accurate. Daisy May Cooper is hilarious. Nice one. Uh, Bangkok, Karen, I recently rewatched I Claudius. Interesting. So there's some good, yeah, there's some good options here. There's some good options. I'm still leaning towards True Blood, to be honest, even though I'm not a massive fan of Sucky Stackhouse. But there's so many other great characters in it. What was that other horror series we started watching not too long ago with a, a reasonably hot guy in it who kept seeing his dead grandmother? I don't know what you're talking about. His dead grandmother lived in the um, motorhome. She kept appearing to him. But there was loads of other stuff going on around the town and spirits and things. And he was, mm. it was like one season. It was really good and we really enjoyed it. Can't remember. I can't either. <laughs> Rick, <laughs> Rick, do you know us? Do you know us, mate? Uh, thank you, by the way, Rick. I'm slightly tongue in cheek. Uh, always enjoy your Friday night lives and come on, England, for Sunday. Will you be watching the football on Sunday? Nah, nah, mate. 
not that bothered to be honest truth be known doesn't get my heart racing let's put it that way but i will not judge those that are watching it and that are into it fair play i can appreciate the skill of the game i've played plenty of organized sports over the years rugby football hockey lacrosse basketball you name it um I can admire the skill of the game. I just don't admire the uh, the pay packets. Um, but then it's much bigger than football. It's about the distribution of wealth across the planet. Um, and, you know, that's a story and a subject for another time and another place. Have we um, have we stopped buffering now? Apparently we're buffering a minute ago. Well, we should be wrapping things up fairly soon because yeah. we, uh, we have done... Um, Longer than I thought we would do this evening, to be honest, because it's been a very, very long day. Um, we are at the hour and a half point. Uh, Rick, the um, allotment videos always go up on a Monday. Monday evening. Monday evening allotment vlog. Tuesday evening, seven nights of evening meals vlog. That's those guarantees. Yeah, that's consistent. And then one live a week, because tonight was Friday. Next week will be... Sunday. Sunday. Like Sunday next kitchen. week. Yes. Nice one, Angela. Thank you. <laughs> the vegan vlogger. I'll be watching Wimbledon sat with my strawberries. I'm Very nice. I'm having a lie-in tomorrow, actually, because we got up so early today. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a lie-in tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, and Just maybe maybe tomorrow might be first drone test day. Who knows? Yeah. Possibly. I think, I think, I think maybe we we don't need to go to the allotment tomorrow. No. Do we? No. We don't need to. Um I'm up for that. I'm up for going out and yeah. uh, finding somewhere. I need to have a think. I need to have a think about where. But well, we need to have a think about where. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I think we're at that point now where it might be. Yeah, it might be first, first yeah. fly time. I think, I think it's time. <laughs> I think we are, aren't we? Are we all in the same place in this in the space time continuum now? Uh, if any of you haven't seen the Rocket Pesto vlog, check it out after we finish this. It's so easy to make, and it's tonight we had it with pasta last night. Tonight we had it on a burger bun. Oh, tomorrow we're going to be having it in mashed potatoes with um, sausage because <laughs> I don't want to waste it. And I like it when it's nice and fresh, so beautiful. So beautiful. I love how uh, versatile pesto is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Angela's heading off. We're heading off soon. Thank you for being here, Angela. Yes, we're, we're, we're going to go uh, as well. Uh, we're going to bid you, lovely folks, a massive thank you for all your absolutely gorgeous bits and things. Oh, Jessica, thank you so much. Bless you. Now, nah, love. <laughs> thank you, Jessica. Good night. Much appreciated. Night and bless. Hi, Lily, and hi, Oki or Oku. Oki, and I say hi, yes. Oh, that's nice, Lily. Lovely. Yes. <laughs> Rebecca, that's oh, funny. People are weird and funny. People yeah. are weird and funny about football. I kind of part. I, I've got a weird thing with it. I love it. Relationship. Fifty percent of me is like I smile and acknowledge it, and I have a slight little bit of sentiment when I see the love of the game that people have. But then I'm also a little bit like, yeah, that much passion for a game. How about the planet you live on? I yeah, misplaced passions How about and the people. People that are like... Anyway, let's not go on. No, no, no. no, no we're not no, going to no. we, we don't like or watch football. Each to their own. Come on, England, yeah. You do you. Yeah. yeah. Good for them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, not for us. You've um, been awesome, everyone. You've got the thumbs up beyond where we wanted them. Thank you for the gorgeous gifts. Thank you for spending some time with us. Uh, don't forget, yeah, you will see. Um, oh, I've got another vlog going up this weekend at some point. The one I made last night. Mm -hmm. It's very quick. You'll enjoy it. Quick recipe. Well, you might. Uh, but we'll see you Monday and Tuesday with the allotment vlog and the meals vlog. How else, Seth Cockle? Um, thank you. 
kind of what he just said. Thank you for being here. Thank you for helping other people out in the community. Thank you for spreading the word. One of the things that I did think about before, but I didn't say when Paul was talking about the wonderful ebook that he wrote, which has already helped loads of people and has already been downloaded thousands of times. Um, if you've already got the ebook and you've downloaded it, why not download it again and send it to somebody else that you know? To everybody. Email to as a family gift and friends. And say, here, here's a gift from me to you so you can learn something. Massive thank you to Kelly and Leanne for holding the fort tonight and keeping all the, the tiny little groups of tiny little trolls at bay. Oh, bless them. They've probably gone to bed now. They've been winded by mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, mister. Love you. Mwah. Love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and for your continued friendship, support, encouragement and loveliness. Um, we'll see you again very, very soon. Until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves.